What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. Hey, girl! Hey, girl, what's up? I feel like we haven't um, d- done this in a while. I mean, it's only been a week. I know. It's like it's weird when we take like off weeks because I feel like I, I think sh- this week just feels longer because we switch days. Mm-hmm. What you normally we to, record girl? Mondays and it's a Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? We done switched up the schedule. Yeah, so I think that's why I've been feeling like you know a long week. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, you know, I just been chilling, yeah. working. Working, Try, trying to get yeah, girl. I know that's right, Tommy. I ordered some samples for our uh, swimsuit. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, good. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully, this out soon. Mm-hmm. You a working woman because I ain't been doing shit. I'm excited. Yeah, but you have good reason, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I've been on bed rest. I've been chilling, not doing shit. No, and you know what the best thing is? Like when you go to the hospital or something happens to you, can't nobody bother you. I've been using I've been using this excuse for everything. Like, like I, I'm on bed rest. I'm on bed rest. They be like, my sister be calling me like, oh my gosh, your nephew wants to talk to you. I'm on bed rest, bitch. Tell him I'll call him tomorrow. I'm dead. Tell Don't be call- doing him like that. Good Jackson can wait. I see. Because then your feelings be getting hurt when he be curving you. He do be curving me now. He do. He and do be curving me now. But no, I just been on bed rest. I've been chilling. Um, I've just been, I've been eating healthy now. That's good. I've been on my healthy thing. I'm trying to lose some weight. Um, this is honestly the first real like drink that I've had in a while. I haven't been drinking. I've just really been chilling. Girl, you had some wine the other day. Now, see, watch your mouth now. I ain't about to play with you. I said I'm just drinking like that. This is wine. It, wine is wine. No, but that was a little six ounce. Usually I get the nine ounce. What's this? This about... It's this about, about the 12. About, it's, about, it's about a 12. 12 yeah. <laughs> Lex, y'all, Lex be filling the whole fucking cup up with wine. I do. This shit don't be making no sense. You know what I'm saying? That's but why we be a little tipsy. We do be a little tipsy. But yeah, I just been chilling. Um, I'm going to go back to Houston soon to see my friends and my family. Mm-hmm. Um, But yeah, I'm just now getting like active, moving around. I'll say one thing. I got my hair done. What? When did I get this done? Like two, three weeks ago? Like three weeks yeah, ago. But either way it goes, like, bitch, this hair been lasting me. Yeah, it's pretty. I love, you know, I love curly hair. Yes, yeah, like, it was like, when I tell you, y'all, I do not be doing my hair right. So, like, I've been laying on this hair. It got matted. It was like in a fucking bird's nest on the top of my head. You are so strange. I am very bad when it comes to my hair. I don't understand how people don't brush their hair every day. Oh, oh, I literally... That's crazy to me. I, I brush my hair once a week. And when we record. That's crazy. Like, even if I'm just at home and I'm not doing nothing, like, when I get in the shower, I have to... Like, if I have curly hair, when I get in the shower, I have to brush my no, hair. No, I do not brush my hair. I hate brushing I my hair. I have to brush my hair. I don't care if my hair straight, curly, braids. I'm not touching it unless I'm coming here. Do you see me when I was in the I'm meetings? weird. It's like, I don't care if don't nobody see me. I still... If no. nobody seeing me, I still gotta look Bitch, like... my teeth get lucky if they get brushed. Ugh, that's <laughs> disgusting. I thought we was keeping it real. That's not nasty as fuck. I brushed them Don't today. Don't tell nobody else that. I brushed them today. It was a special occasion. I am. I know your, I know it'd be funky underneath your mask. <laughs> it's a gas mask. Mm-mm. I know it'd be funky as hell no, under there. No, but I just like I, this hair. I didn't think it was going to bounce back, but I got in the shower and I just got it wet and it just fell in line. Yeah, I put it's, a little it's a really product. nice hair. Yeah, so, Shout out uh, to Jazz. Yeah, it's from uh, Emerald Goddess Hair, so make sure y'all go get you some it's some i'm just like if you're a person who's lazy with your hair like me like it's some good hair but anyways but yeah i've just been chilling not much going on but i'm gonna be outside this summer yeah we outside we already had like, established. I, have, I thought we had been established right. i think they know well i'm just saying like i have so much stuff planned for july like i'm so excited i already have like three trips planned mm-hmm. i'm just ready to just be cutting up like i feel like we had a very calm well, we didn't have a choice because, you know, technically we're still in a pandemic. But I just feel like yeah, we had a very, like, last year we didn't do shit, you know. So I feel like for the new listeners, they don't know. Like, we be outside. No, don't get it twisted. we definitely be outside. 2020 was a very light, Right. Calm it was year. very light and calm. But, so, you know, it's 2021 now. It's about to be up, okay? It is okay. motherfucking stuck. Mm-hmm. But anyways, um, I just needed to give the girls an update. Because so you don't have no booze or nothing right now? <sighs> I mean, I got I got a little <laughs> I got a little shum shum, you know what I'm saying? But um, Creative Bay, that's dead. I thought I loved him. I'm glad about it. 
<laughs> you were right. I know I was, it I lasted, was always right. But it lasted. When it come to you. It was the best week of my life. He's an amazing man. Just not the man for me. He wasn't man enough. No, he wasn't man enough for me. Damn, Creative Bay. R.I.P. Creative Bay. I be still seeing him on the timeline, too. Aw, he cool, though. Like, he cool. It's just... I think I was just kind of like... I think he was just bored, per usual. I was on bed rest. Yeah. And I, mean, I was no, on... First of all, don't be trying to use that as an excuse <laughs> because you started fucking with that nigga long before you was on bed well, rest. Well, first of all, you can't say fucking with that nigga because it was just like texts and phone calls. That's fucking with somebody. No. Well, your fucking in definition with somebody's my bitch. I didn't say you was fucking him. Well, I know. I said, I said fucking, fucking with, with him. When I'm fucking with somebody, that means I'm sucking your dick. Nah, I feel like you could fuck with somebody and y'all just be like Mm -mm. communicating Mm -mm. and talking. We talking. Like if we fuck, like if we fucking, I I think I would use a different word for it other than fucking with you. Nah, like when you fucking with fucking with you is like I I fuck with you, like you cool, like you my homie. Yeah, I'll suck your dick every now and then. Nah, that ain't fucking with you. That's what I take it as. And somebody be like, yeah, we. I'm sucking your dick. You my man. Oh, now see when I said it, (laughs) when I said it, you said I was crazy. I'm sucking your dick. You my nigga. See, we ain't fucking with each other. Let a nigga say he fucking with me and I'm sucking his dick. I'll beat his ass. (laughs) The fuck. Now see when I said that, you said I was crazy. Times change. Nah, but I always have felt like that. I feel mm. like if I suck your dick, we in a relationship. <laughs> Wait. Because I don't be just sucking everybody dick. So, oh. like, you know. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. That mm-hmm. makes sense. Okay, so let's get into these topics today. Um, I wanted to talk about this because sometimes, like, I just ask the timeline something. And I just feel like people be trying to be too cool. Everybody wants to seem like they're the perfect girlfriend, the perfect boyfriend, Mm. the perfect friend. Like, you too cool for that. You too cool for this. And it's just so weird. So, I asked the timeline the other day. I said, ladies, have y'all ever dirty macked to get a man? So, today I want to talk about dirty macking. And I wanted to talk about this shit, too. Just because I had went on a date with my friend not that long ago, which, you know, I know this child, but she wanted me to come. So... It was her date. It was her date, mm-hmm. yeah. She went on a date with this dude, and she was like, oh, I want you to come, because I don't know if I'm really like him. So, we had went to eat with the dude or whatever, and he was, like, dirty macking on his partner the whole night, because his partner used to be trying to fuck with her, and now he trying to fuck with her. Mm-hmm. So, he was, like, talking down on his friend, trying to make it seem like him and the friend ain't cool like that, but it's like, nah, nigga, that's your partner. We be seeing y'all talking on Twitter and shit. Mm. Y'all be together. Don't be trying to fucking play him just because you trying to get some pussy. Nah, I like that shit. I like that shit. Fight it out, nigga. Talk shit. Give me you the like tea. It? Hell yeah. I don't like that shit. I think it's corny as fuck. Cause it I is feel corny. like you ain't gotta talk down on nobody. Like if a bitch wanna fuck with you or if a nigga wanna fuck with you, you ain't gotta talk down on nobody to get that person. No, you're gonna fight to the death for me and I wanna no. see how low you gonna go. No. Mm-mm. But but let me say. You talk about another nigga and like you talk down another nigga, that makes me want to talk to him more. That, yeah. And then facts. especially if I hang out with him and he don't say shit about you. That's because gonna a make real me... nigga not gonna say nothing about you. Yeah, but a real nigga not gonna say nothing okay, about another so, nigga. So that's crazy because that's actually how me and Rapper Bay started fucking around. I know we don't talk about that. He he was dirty making? No, somebody was dirty making on me. He was trying to see what Big Mama was about. Oh, I thought you was about to say he was dirty making. I was about to say that was that's not surprising. No, no, I was, he's not a dirty macker. He's not. Uh, hmm. But now somebody was telling him, like, you gonna fuck with Lick? Her body fake. That ass ain't even real. So he said, well, shit. It feel real? He said he wanted to see if that dang jiggle like. And it do. And it do. So the dirty mac actually worked in my favor. So I want to ask you, have you ever dirty mac And don't lie. Don't lie. Why would I lie? Don't lie. What do I need to lie for? Because when I asked the question, everybody was like, nah, that's lame. That's whack bitch shit. I would never dirty Mac. And I'm just like, I done dirty Mac well, a little I bit Well, I feel before. like per our last conversation, mm-hmm. your definition of dirty mac and my definition of dirty mac is two different things. I don't think... What you told me, what you considered the time that you dirty mac 
I don't consider that dirty making. So like for me, I'ma say no, I haven't never dirty make because I never be talking down on bitches to a nigga. Right. Like if you wanna fuck with somebody or if you wanna see what that's about, I'm not about to be like, oh no, that bitch whack, you shouldn't fuck with her, you should fuck with me. <laughs> what the fuck? Like that shit lame as hell. Why would I do some corny ass shit like that? Okay. Like if you wanna go test the waters, especially if we're not in a relationship, mm-hmm. cause I was totally kidding about the dick sucking shit earlier. But if we're not in a relationship mm-hmm. and you want to fuck with other women, I'm not going to be upset about that. I mean, that's what dating is. If we're not exclusive, you can fuck with who you want to fuck with. Okay, so I feel like there's levels to dirty macking. Right? But I don't. I feel like it's one level. No, I feel like it's levels. Like, So level one was like that shit I did. So Tell what, them what you did. So what had happened was... <laughs> what you be saying? Roll that beautiful <laughs> bean footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. This is what happened, y'all. So the nigga was on the phone with me, right? And I guess his baby mama was on some bullshit. And he was like uh, supposed to get his daughter that weekend. But she was like tripping or something. Or He was supposed to have his kids that weekend. Mm-hmm. His daughter and his son or whatever. And she didn't want to let him have the kids. So... Um, he was like on the phone and he was like, yeah, my baby mama tripping. She don't want to let me have the kids this weekend because of whoop the whoop the whoop. And I'm like, damn, that whole childish. That whole, she knows she need to let you have the kids. Whole she time, knew. But whole time, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about, I don't care about them kids. Fuck them kids. But I'm just adding on. I'm putting a little, I'm putting gas on the phone. I'm like, fuck that hoe. You don't even need that hoe. Yeah. Fuck that hoe. That was a little dirty back then. I wouldn't care about them kids either, but right is right and wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. But so I, if I say, oh yeah, that bitch tripping, she is tripping. Right, but I'm not, let you, but right, you but see but I'm, not, I'm not saying that because I care about you spending time with your kids. I'm saying that because I'm trying to throw salt in that whole game. Well, that was your intention. Exactly. So you were dirty back then. Yeah. Intentionally, because that's what you was doing. Yes, if I a was. nigga came to me and he told me, oh, my baby mama tripping, she won't let me see my son. Baby mama tripping, <laughs> she won't let me see my son. <laughs> I knew you was about to do that. As soon as I said it. <laughs> Mama tripping, she won't let me see my kid. I would be like, damn, that's fucked up. But I would genuinely feel like that's fucked up because I would never be that type of baby mama right. once I have a kid. I know I wouldn't. Mm. So I'm just saying, I think that's fucked up. I don't think that's dirty macking. You was yes, being tri- but was. you were doing that on I purpose. Was. So that's what I'm saying. It's different. So you can't feel like everybody' intention is that. Well, that's because it was my your intention. intention. If you talk down on me about somebody that you used to fuck with, I'ma join in. We jumping the bitch or not? I don't want to talk about no bitch you used to fuck with because you used to fuck with that hoe for a reason no. and now you here. Well, no, I feel like, I'm not saying like if he's talking about his ex or doing anything like that. Well, no, let me just even say that. Sometimes, you know, when you getting to know somebody and they're venting or something, like if I'm trying to get to know you and like, yeah, my ex did me wrong. Like she cheated on me. I'm like, damn, baby, that was a hoe. She yeah. was a hoe. Like you deserve better. You are fucking terrible. This Don't is hard move. to say. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure you go about this in the right way. I'm going to pull out the L.O. Cool J on your ass. I know you've been busy Sky a lot. so blue. <laughs> it's a brand new day. A brand, brand new, new you. A brand new day. Sky, Sky so blue. blue. <laughs> like, I'm going to pull all that shit out. Like, I'm going to love you better, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> I, I'm about to put down the Mac game. I'm going to do it. You about to put your Mac down? Yes, I'm about to put that Mac down, smack down, and I'm going to do the same shit she did to you. That's how the game go. That is not how the game That's go, how bitch. That's how go. your game go. You are I'm fucking, you are horrible. You are a I horrible am, person. I am. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the best person, but you gonna have a good time. <laughs> but, but did you die? Exactly. But did you die? You, you live to see another day. So yeah, when people was like, I ain't never dirty Mac, that shit whack. Y'all I mean, it is get your way. head in the game, bitches. Sometimes you gotta throw a little salt. No, in you the game. don't. No, you fucking don't. You do not have to throw no Speak salt for in for yourself. A, you yeah. don't have to throw salt in nobody's game. If a nigga is already trying to talk to you and he's he's obviously already interested, so why do you need to throw salt? I'll on tell someone you else? why. Because if he's like venting to you and let you know what a past girl did to him and how it hurt him, that's gonna build up that trust. That's gonna break his wall down and your snake and ass just to slither right in there. He like, damn, I can trust Lex. She real. She told me she wouldn't do me like that. Whole time I'm doing you like that. Well, I am gonna tell you I wouldn't do you like that. Yeah. Even if I'm lying. That's what I'm saying. But I ain't gotta talk down on no other bitch. Yes, that's I'm, all I'm saying. Well, that's you. 
But like I said, I don't bring it up. I don't be like, mm, you used to talk to Drea. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you might not even know the girl. But I just still feel like, honestly, when niggas bring other bitches up, I be like, next topic. Yeah, I mean, honestly, <sighs> now like, if it becomes excessive. Because why are we, like, I mean, if I you want to talk to me about your ex, like if we're having a serious, deep, in-depth conversation about your past and your relationships and things that you've been through, and you want to let me know certain shit that your ex did or things that you've been through that hurt you in the past, I'm a listen. But once it start getting too deep or you talking about this bitch too much, I'm going to be like, okay, what else you got to talk right. about? Because I don't want to talk about like, these I no more. Like I feel like it's like a, a conversation. I'm not going to bombard you talking about my ex right. all the time. I agree with you because I feel like this is a conversation that happens once or twice. Right. If you're a type of person like you always bringing up your ex and always you bringing up your ex. You got hurt go. Yeah, like I feel like you need to do some healing. Yeah. Like, and I can't and, help you with and that. And it's beyond my dirty mouth. I heard this pussy is healing, but I don't know if I can help with that. My dirty mouth can only go so far now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's going to make you feel good. But then there's like level two dirty macking. Okay, what's level two? Level two dirty you, So you a level one dirty I'm a level, macker. No, I'm a level one dirty macker. Very entry level, beginners, not nothing too deep. <laughs> it ain't nothing that the nigga going to repeat because if he repeated, I'm going to say, bitch, you was talking about her too. So if she tried to whoop me, you better whoop us. So not only are you a dirty macker, you're a snitch. No, I'm saying if he snitch on me, yeah, I'm a snitch back. We, I'm not going down alone. Going down? You don't even know her. But I'm saying if she found out I was talking about her, like... But you, that's why your ass shouldn't have said she. Well, I needed to get my Because now you want the cop out. Hell yeah. But that's why it's a cop. You got to let him Don't bring it up scary. first. Sure do. And <laughs> am. And am. So level two dirty macking is if, like, y'all both know the person. And, like, they get brought up in casual conversation. Like... Like what? Like y'all all follow like in your situation. Like when you went on a date with uh your friend and the dude and that y'all know oh. y'all all kinda know each other, so he might have got up. Well, I, don't up. Know, I don't know him. Well, I'm just saying, like, for example, like y'all all follow each other on social media, right? So well not you, I'm talking about her. <laughs> so it's like he somebody Thank that y'all have a mutual friend, y'all get brought up in conversation and you like, Oh yeah, I know uh Devontae. Mm hmm They're like, Yeah, man, Devontae. Yeah, 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 I know that nigga. And then he start kind of being like, yeah, like, you know, giving you, like, the side on some shit. And they make you be like, what? What you know about Devontae? <laughs> and then, you know, he going to start spilling the tea. So that's, like, level two because it's not like he brought it up to just tell it. It's like his name got brought up in conversation and you just, things get a little messy. Now, level three dirty macking, this is the ultimate dirty macker. <laughs> This the nigga who gonna pull the nigga out his ass. So you think the nigga that my friend went on a date with, he's a level two dirty macker? He's a level 2.5 because he started taking shit too far. Like, yeah. the conversation was just going on too long. And he brought him up. Yeah, see, okay, well, no, I didn't I know. lied, I lied, I lied. The she girl brought, brought him up. Exactly. So, that's level two dirty macker. Okay. She brought him up, so he was just finishing in the teeth. Okay. Now, level three is when you don't even know that he know your old nigga. But he tell but he you, tell he you like, yeah, I know Devontae. You like, you know Devontae? I know Devontae. Yeah, that nigga used to be doing this and playing you. I'm so glad you got away from that nigga. And you be like, uh, how you know? Well, you know his baby mama, my sister friend, cousin. That's a that's a level three dirty macker. Damn, I used to fuck with a level three dirty macker. I mac know it. We all with a level three dirty macker. I fucked with a dirty three level mac. I mean, that's not a dirty three <laughs> level. You just shook right now. I shook you for a minute. I fucked. You with wasn't ready. You wasn't ready. Damn. I told you it's I level. really did. I, and, th and then when I really think about it, that's how I started fucking with him. Because he was level three dirty macking. I'm telling you. It's levels. I'm telling you, I really sat down and thought about this shit because I'm like, damn, I'm dirty making, but I ain't doing it like that. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah, so it, it's definitely, it's three levels to dirty making. You got to pick, you got to pick which level you want. If I got to do that level one again, I'm going to do it, goddamn. But would you ever do level three? Hell no. I'm not going to do that's level three. It that's too taking far. it too far because I don't got to do all that. That ain't that. a part of your ministry. That ain't a part of my ministry because I feel like this. If I know a bitch that you used to fuck with and you fucking with me now and you don't even know that I know her, that's going to make me look weird. 
You know what I'm saying? By just bringing this girl name up and that makes her look poppy. I mean, and my thing is, I'm just, I'm always an advocate for, um, everybody don't gotta know everything that you know. Exactly. Sometimes you gotta keep shit in your back pocket. You know what I mean? Like, I need to know more it's than checks, what you not think. Checkers. It's good for me to know more than what you think I know. Hide your queen. Always. Hide your queen. Always. Mm-hmm. So, yes. You know I know how the game goes. That's what I'm saying. So That's why I don't be dirty mac and not even level one. Oh, I'm a level one dirty mac. <laughs> <laughs> the successful rate, 100%. <laughs> um, but honestly, the girl that was dirty macking on me with uh, Rapper Bay, she was a level three. Cause he was like, damn, I didn't even know she knew you. Who was it again? He never told me. Oh, he never told you. To this day. To this day. He never told me. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Cause he said. Cause you not going to charge her up. No, I'm I'm not. Cause I'm scary (laughs) and I can't fight. (laughs) But I think. But he said it was somebody that was like in my inner circle. And he he saw that we followed each other and that we talk a lot on social media. So I had maybe like some clues on who it was but it wasn't anybody that important to care because she it was mm. like around the time i got my body done so she was like yeah she got her body done her body not real and i think everybody knew i got my body done when i got it done because my body like changed so dramatically but either way it goes it was the worst type of girls to me yes girl it was real funny now she got her body done and my body natural Girl, and I we still, know. We, we can tell. We can tell. You don't have to tell us it's natural. It's very obvious. <laughs> Trust it's very me. obvious. No one was doubting you. No it. one was doubting God's work. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so, yes, it's levels to dirty macking. Am I a dirty macker? Yes. I'm a level one. I'm not proud of it, but then again, I am. I done got some things from Why dirty Why would you be proud of that? You are. <laughs> because I've gotten some things from Dirty Mac. Yeah. Like what? What? I took a little trip before. From Suck- Dirty Mac? Mm-hmm. Where got, did you go? You got to do what San you got. San Antonio? Hold on now, bitch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, bitch. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm just you know asking. what I'm not gonna lie. Over the course of time that I've oh, known oh. you, no, I'm I not haven't known you to go on no extravagant trip from Dirty Mackey. I'm not gonna lie to you. I Dirty Max level one Dirty Mac with Nigerian Bay. I absolutely did. And y'all went to Nigeria. Yeah, we went to Lagos, but, but it wasn't. It, but it, no, no, no. But I'll say this: it, me Dirty Macking didn't lead to me going to Nigeria. Mm-hmm. But I did Dirty Mac in that situation. I had to do what I had to do. I never knew that you knew somebody that he used to fuck with. Yeah, well, I mean, it was kind of like he had brought up somebody to me. He was like, oh, yeah, you know her and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, mm. I'm like, yeah, I know. He's like, yeah, she kind of. Not the, mm. I was like, mm, yeah, I know her. <laughs> I said, mm. I was like, <laughs> that's the worst shit you can do when somebody brings somebody name up is be like, mm. I was I, I was like, I do that a lot too. Like, yeah. I mean, maybe I do be level one dirty making. Cause I will say when a nigga bring a bitch, when a nigga bring certain bitches names up, I be like, mm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But I leave, but I will say I leave it at that. Well, they be like, what? What? And I be like, nothing. That's half a little. Shit. He that's be, half, it's point five. <laughs> Niggas be like, what, what? Well, sit your ass. <laughs> the bitch trifling, she's a scammer. Them angles, that filter, take all that shit off. It's a totally different bitch. I was going in. He asked. Not but he, no, but he said he you was like taking it for He was like, yeah, she was supposed to do we were supposed to do some work together and then like we met up but she was like on some weird shit and she was trying to like hit on me. And I was like, Yes, I'm glad you didn't do that because I didn't hurt it. I mean I was just, you know, putting a little icing on the cake, making sure you didn't try to dip back in that box. Had to make sure. Legs. Did it. But you got to Nigeria. Did, did I not get to Nigeria? <laughs> I got my Versace. My Versace. Still got it. Bling, bling. Every time I come around, I'll see the bling, bling. 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 <laughs> okay? So, let me know if y'all have ever dirty mac. Are you a dirty macker? That's so crazy because when we were picking this topic... We had both actually. Yeah, so we both had the topic, which was crazy because, like, when she brought it up, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I literally had this in my notes that I mm-hmm. wanted to talk about this because I just was in a situation where a nigga, I seen a nigga firsthand dirty making. And I'm like, what's tea? Why would you do that? But I would say this niggas dirty mag more and harder than women do. Absolutely. 
absolutely. But the crazy thing is, too, that I really feel like a lot of niggas do it because they really think that that shit is like, like, that will get a bitch to fuck with you more. But, like, I will say in that situation, my friend didn't peep it. But that's what she got me for. Because I did. And I told her. And she was like, now that you said it, he is corny. And I was like, mm mm-hmm, he yeah. is. Honestly, like I said, when a man dirty max with me and he's talking about another man that he knows that I used to talk to or that I am talking to or whatever, it makes me more interested in the other man. Absolutely. Like, it always makes me more always. interested. So, look, we just put y'all on some game, fellas. Don't dirty me. Okay? All right. Mm-hmm. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we're going to tell y'all about BetterHelp.com. It's something that we both use that we absolutely love and swear by. It's basically counseling done securely online. Therapy, if you've never tried it before, this is the program for you. Yes, and, like, what's easier than being able to talk to a counselor within the comfort of your own home? I love it. Like you said, it's super convenient. Um, I actually have my therapy session tomorrow with my counselor, Tiffany. Shout out to Tiffany. She's been helping me through a lot of my issues mm-hmm. that I have personally. And I think that you guys would really enjoy it too. So, yes. don't we have a review? Yes, girl. Let me read the patient review for y'all so y'all know we not lying, okay? It says, my counselor Monica helps me see things in a very different way, unlike anything I've ever experienced, which is refreshing and good. I'm very thankful for her insight. And this person was dealing with depression, stress, mm-hmm. anxiety, and grief. So, just so y'all know, these are real people using this site. Yes. and they absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. Over a, a million people use this. Right, okay? including us. Including us. So we have got y'all a discount. So visit betterhelp.com backslash poor minds. That's better H-E-L-P backslash poor minds and get your discount. You get 10% off of your first month of counseling. Yep. So the next topic I wanted to talk about is entitlement. Of? Of um, celebrities, people with platforms, you know, people that you look up to. Because it was a situation that happened and um, a fan of somebody had, uh, was adding her in like some like fan art that she did. Mm -hmm. And the celebrity actually like uh, retweeted it or reposted it or whatever. I guess the girl didn't see it that she had reposted it. And the girl was just like, you're rude, you're this, you're that. They were just going in on each other. But I feel like... But it lo- wasn't nothing that the fan had, like, paid for. Like, she didn't it pay for no It wasn't no paid promo. promo. It wasn't no nothing. It wasn't anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, I wanted to talk about entitlement that people have whenever they're fans of someone. Mm-hmm. Um, because I think it's getting a little out of hand. I think... You know, when I was younger, we didn't have access to celebrities. Mm -hmm. There was no way you could slide in Whitney Houston's DMs and be like, I love you and see that she read your message. It wasn't none of that. You know what I'm saying? We had fan mail. Like, you had fan mail, but you were writing it to a corporation and they would send you back a card Mm -hmm. with printed out with a stamp that was an autograph. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was stuff like that. And even though social media does make celebrities more accessible, so it makes you feel closer to these people, you have to realize that these people are still people. Mm -hmm. And they're still human and what they're doing is their job they just happen to be the small percentage of people in the world who are lucky to do something that they love for a living but that doesn't mean that they owe you anything i don't care if i've bought every single beyonce album that's came out since she was in destiny's child bought it went to every single concert she still doesn't owe me anything Mm -hmm. that's just me being a fan and showing support i hate when people think because I'm supporting you, you are supposed to do something for me. Right. That's not how support works. When you're supporting someone, that's you out of the goodness of your heart. I fuck with you. Or I fuck with your music. I fuck with your podcast. I fuck with your movies. I fuck with your photography. Whatever it is, me supporting you is just that. Me supporting you and me spreading the word about you because I believe others need to see the art that you're giving to the world. Mm-hmm. It's not me doing something for you hoping that you'll recognize me and give me recognition Mm -hmm. and I'm not trying to eat off of you so I feel like people send um people fan art all the time but you have to realize like people are busy sometimes they don't want certain things on their timeline or certain things on their stories like people want certain aesthetics for things you have to understand that like if you're just doing it out of the goodness of your heart and they see that and they say thank you that should be enough 
So now that makes me feel like you're just supporting me because you have ulterior motives. You can't come up of up off of nobody else. I mean, I personally I feel like a lot of people that that's what their motive is. You know what I mean? I think sometimes people definitely are fans of people, but I think sometimes, especially in the day and age with social media and stuff like that, people definitely do things for a repose. Right. You know what I mean? For their own personal gain. Right. You know what I mean? You're not solely just doing it because oh, I really just love this person this right. much and I really fuck with them. Like nah. I mean, you could yeah, you could draw your artist, but you created this because you were hoping that this person would repose. It so mm -hmm. that you would get more attraction to your page right. and sell more art. Right. You know what I mean? And so I think it's just kind of fucked up because people will consider you to be um a fucked up person or right. a, um a fucked up individual just because you don't respond to everything or repost everything. But sometimes that shit is hard. Like I couldn't even imagine being on a Beyonce level, you know, when we need well, we need Houston don't really count because I mean <laughs> Yeah, because I think she 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 definitely died before social like, media. I think to like, really. Yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, it was a thing, but not like how it is now. But yeah, I couldn't imagine being on like a Beyonce, a Drake level mm -hmm. where you have all of these people constantly reposting you. It's literally no way. Because I know sometimes we even get like overwhelmed and drowned in reposts and mentions and stuff right. like that. And it's like we're not purposely ignoring people. Like I, I think we've both had people say to us before. Like I had somebody message me. Um, a few weeks ago and they were like Drea don't be like that cause I told you happy birthday I'm dead and I'm like bro literally not even trying to be funny right now because my birthday post like that i made for my birthday is still on instagram if you go look at it it literally has like 1800 comments the dawn like that baby you is pop <laughs> but i'm just saying it literally has 1800 comments and i got so many fucking mentions that of like from people that i needed that i could repost on my story and stuff but it was literally no fucking way right for me to repost all of those people so i just think people have to stop taking things personally you know what I mean I think y'all have to give celebrities and influencers and podcasters whatever a little bit of leeway because mm -hmm. a lot of us really do try to communicate with y'all right. all the time but it's literally no way that we can respond to everybody right. all the time it's right. no way sometimes shit is gonna get overlooked Mm -hmm. it's gonna happen but it's not on purpose and it's not intentional right. if you're a real fan or if you're a real supporter then I feel like you can understand that and then still be supportive instead of like starting to be like oh well that person is stuck up and right, that is and right. That. right and I think a lot of times it's just like like I said if you're supporting somebody you're doing that out of love like every artist that I shout out on this show that's an indie artist, I don't expect them to repost the show or shout us out and say thank you. I'm not doing that for a thank you. I'm doing that because I fuck with your music and I want other people to listen and I want you to get where you're going. I want to thank time, you. Remember I'm, that song? Shout out to Bow Wow. For making me who I am and putting me where I need to be. Okay, wait, but let's change the subject. Real, real quick, who you got? Soldier Boy Bow Wow? Draco. <laughs> Soldier. She make it clap, clap, clap. I'm glad. Hey, you my bitch. Draco got that shit, period. Is there a question? Okay, it is, but we're going to talk about that later. Okay. So, anyways. No so, comp. <laughs> no so, comp. So, yes, I feel like when I shout people out or when I put y'all on music, I'm not looking for a thank you. It's just I'm genuinely enjoying this shit. I want y'all to enjoy this shit, too. When y'all put other people on poor minds and stuff, like, thank you. Like, I appreciate it you know i say i say thank you to as many people Same. as i can like yeah. you know what i'm saying but i feel we like we try to retweet everybody yeah like, i mean I we're only all two day. people right. like it's only so much we can do right but i'm just like the reason i wanted to have this conversation because i see what goes on as people get bigger and how people react and i'm just like damn like you can't y'all can't be like that like if you love somebody and you want to support them that's all you that's all you need to do like don't expect things in return right you know what i'm saying like as long as these artists aren't being like oh fuck y'all i don't need y'all i'm gonna make music as long as they're not being like nasty and mean well all right all right as long as people <laughs> see i can't speak for everybody but i can speak for us and i can speak for most artists like i'm not gonna say anything sometimes artists do slide in my dms and they'll thank me um 
for shouting them out, you know, on the show and mm-hmm. bringing or putting their music on my playlist. You know what? I have another playlist for y'all. I just finished my alternative playlist as well. I'm going to talk about that in the mm-hmm. box. But, um, but yeah, sometimes artists will slide in my DMs and thank me and they'll post the show and repost it. I'm, I'm not looking for that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just think the entitlement stuff and feeling like people owe you something, like we need to scale back on that a lot. Um, yeah, I think so. And I think it's more so like with the supporters, like you have to, what is your real intent? Mm -hmm. Because if your intention is to be supportive and you genuinely fuck with that person, then you wouldn't get upset just because you're not getting a response. You You know what I mean? Um, sometimes I think when the intention is not there, like the, the right intention is not there. That's when people tend to get upset Mm -hmm. and be in their feelings. Yeah, so, so yeah. But I love y'all and I'm gonna respond as much as I can. But sometimes yeah, I love be- y'all, but you know, sometimes she be like a little crazy mm-hmm. and like the show keep growing, so like, you know, I don't know. We we be trying though. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep trying. And honestly, if y'all get but- mad at me, I'm gonna be like, I was on bed rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I was, on bed I, I, I'm about to steal that line. So I'm about to say, I'm bitch, I was on bed rest. I'm on bed rest. What you want from me? Speaking of the bed, let's get into the bed. Hey, hey the bed. Bow, bow, the bed. Hey, bow, bow, bow. Somebody had reposted the other day um on a story like a clip of us from like an episode when we first had started p- doing poor minds mm-hmm. and we had made like a remix to the bed what was it, it was oh it was like, freestyling yeah, I well know. we was both freestyling yeah, i know i killed that hoe because the and bars like, is there and i was like what the fuck like what do we be doing you know somebody had actually <laughs> found us on the when we was in the what wild now doing audience sometimes? When we was in a Wild Now audience, uh, I somebody sent me yesterday. that. So funny. But it's so funny because the first time we went to Wild Now, Carlos got us some tickets and was like, hey, come to the show. Like, And we had a grand old time. We was drunk. Remember, it was like right down the street from my house and we walked? We did. <laughs> And we walked back. When your bitch rich, and she can f- walk to all the good events. <laughs> yeah, it was literally like right down the street from my house. So we had walked to my apartment. I mean, walked from my apartment and walked back. And then on the way back, Lex was farting the whole time. Oh, I was. Now, see, why you had to say that? <laughs> Why you had to go there? Because that's what I always think about. <laughs> like, I never think about the great night we had. My mind always reverts to that. You know, sometimes I'll be a little gassy. I got a lot of assy. It's gonna produce a lot of gas. <laughs> <laughs> like the great, the night was great, but then it ended was, on that note. So would you rather have me have been farting while we was in the audience around people and embarrassing you, or waited till we got out? I have manners. I'm you probably lady. was doing a little bit of both. <laughs> I was. I was like. <laughs> I was clapping loud <laughs> just in case it slipped out. Go, <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> no, it was a it was a great night. We had fun, but yes, bitch, that night was fucking crazy. Oh god, good fun times, times. Good fun times. times. We just been out here in Atlanta wildin' since the day I moved out here. It's just been a story. Cause was that? No, that wasn't the summer. That was the second summer you were here. Yeah, that was like the second summer I was here. Yeah, but um. Yeah, we've had a wild time. So, yeah, get into the bed. I'm going to let you introduce this topic. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, yeah, for the bed topic this week, you know, and I hate it here. Why? Because I feel like, you know, I'm 30. You're 31. <laughs> Come on, 30. You're 31. I just hate the fact that I feel like we still be having to have these conversations. You know, I feel like these are conversations that we should have lived in our 20s, but they still necessary. Right. And I hate that for us. I hate that you for know, us, You know, so I wanted to talk about how to start the engine. Mm. How to rev up that engine. You know what I mean? Lex PD, would you like to elaborate on what I mean about revving up the engine? <sighs> revving up the engine is basically, you know, getting your girl ready to have sex I feel a lot of times like the value in foreplay has just disappeared for some reason Mm -hmm. I don't know if you niggas are just listening to your favorite rapper and letting him lie to you saying that he don't eat pussy or he don't you know and he probably don't but he got money oh so what you saying the money already done revved the engine yeah for me oh (laughs) Well, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, though. That don't work. That don't work for me. Like, if we're in the act of sex. It depends. What you mean? 
it just depends. It's been times where it's worked for me. Mm-mm. Like, you be, like, auditioning, like, puss that on film and now. I gotta turn this well, nigga now, out. Well, no, I just mean, like, you ain't never fucked with a nigga or, like, Fuck the nigga and he was just so much of like a a boss ass nigga and just like everything about him just exuded like a boss energy. Yeah, but I feel like And like it just made you like you know Well I feel horny. like Yeah, but men like that, it's like a, a complete package. So it's not like he's just coming in like, yeah. Like niggas like that, they already know what to do. Cause the Well that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's like he he knew to still you still gotta rev up the engine though. Yeah, true, but he might not necessarily be revving it up right in the bedroom, but everything else he doing outside of that, you know, you still be ready. Like, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Like, some niggas just have that swag to where, yeah. like, you see them and the pussy just get wet. I mean, that's happened to us all before. Yeah, it definitely you has. Know what I mean? Okay, happened. I see what you're so saying. So, that's what I'm saying. I mean, with some niggas, it just be like that. Yeah. But with others, you have to try a little harder. Okay, okay. So, so tell the men how to rev up the engine. Well, first of all, what we're going to talk about specifically is like, you know, rubbing on the coochie. Okay. Rubbing on well, Garfield. Well, you know all about that. Well, not on Garfield. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I don't know about that in particular. Okay, relax, Moesha. That's a lot of coochie. <laughs> so tell the, tell the men what they should do. First and foremost, wash your hands. <laughs> I was not expecting you to say that. Niggas' hands be dirty. <laughs> Niggas be rolling up blunts and shit. Just finished rolling up the blunt. Now they touching your coochie. Now my coochie smell like fucking Reggie. That's your fault for fucking a nigga that smoke Reggie anyway. You fucking nigga that su that smoke Reggie. You deserve all the bad dick you gonna get. No, Lada, I don't even fuck with niggas that be smoking for real. I do, but. Yeah, like, now my coochie smelling like fucking Reggie mm. because you just was rolling up the motherfucking blunt. Eating chicken. Make sure your fucking nails is clean. Yes. Niggas be having dirty that. ass fingernails. They be throwing your motherfucking pH off. But not only that, men, it's okay to get manicures. Go to the nail shop and get your nails done. I'm not get saying you gotta get... a top coat. You don't have... But they don't even have to get a top coat if they don't want it. They'll buff your nails, smooth them out. It's... Uh, men need to start getting manicures and pedicures. You don't have to get a top coat. Tell them you don't want a top coat. You just want it buffed out but that needs to be said go to the mail shop yes yeah, so at least once a month wash your hands wash your motherfucking hands you probably just finished eating some motherfucking Popeyes. now you got chicken grease on my place so you talking about a nigga that eating Popeyes and smoking reggie <laughs> this ain't in my ministry i'm talking about 22 year old me okay 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 <laughs> now i can relate <laughs> now I, mean, I, mean, I ain't yeah. talking about me currently, <laughs> okay, okay. But, I, but I'm also speaking for the girls, you know, who are in these predicaments now. right now. Okay, okay, I feel you. I so feel yes, you. wash your motherfucking hands, yes. nigga. Not no Germex. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Okay. Make sure that your nails are nicely manicured, well groomed. You can't have no snag nail. Now you done scratched uh, my coochie. I hate when guys have nah, like bitch bleeding. <gasps> it's not that time of the month. Mm. Cause niggas be having stupid, like niggas be having hangnails, all type of shit. Make sure that your hands are moistened. 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 <laughs> make, sure, make sure they're moist. Moisturized. Moisturized. Make sure they're moist. Yes, we like soft hands. We like soft hands, but then also, if my pussy is not wet, why is you just rubbing on my pussy like it's a motherfucking uh, what's that shit called? Uh, irri, 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 irri. DJ. Yeah, why you rubbing on my table. shit like it's a motherfucking turntable, nigga? This is a pussy. This is not Boy Scouts. We is not trying to start we a fire, bitch. We not trying bitch. to start a fire. The niggas in there like... <laughs> if it's not wet yet, <laughs> add a little lube. Right, okay. So you don't you don't see nothing wrong with using lube in the bed. I feel like people are like, I don't need no lube. Pussy wet, pussy good. Like it's okay to use a little lube sometimes. First of all, just to get it started, it's like that. But it ain't nothing wrong with using lube. That's all I'm saying. You you can use some lube to. We're talking about revving the engine. We're talking about revving the engine. Mm -hmm. We talking about revving the engine. I 
Mm-mm. But no, you can use lube to rev the engine. That's what I'm saying. We yeah. talking about revving the engine now. If you got to use it during sex, well. Well, that's for, I honestly, I'm not going to lie though. People who have like marathon sex, we don't have marathon sex. I know some people who like to have sex for hours and hours and hours. So yeah, if you're having sex that long, ain't nobody pussy staying that way. I don't care if it's like that. Well, bitch, you right. I don't know because it's like that. So I ain't never had sex that long. Well, some people like to have sex that long. I don't. I'm saying. I don't. Girl, <laughs> we know Heathcliff got that grip, Miss Grip. We seen it, Miss Grip. She don't always tweet about Miss Grip. What you <laughs> said about it the other day? She be gripping. <laughs> and I ain't gonna always tweet about it. It was just a one-time occasion. I'm Hope you caught it. I'm fucking dead. So, yes, guys, to rev the engine, you need to have nice, clean hands. Fingering is a lost sport. We still need to be fingered. It's not something that we used to all just do when we were in seventh but grade in the movies. Them was the good days, though. Mm-hmm. It seemed like niggas knew what they was doing more back then than they do now. I remember when I saw, like, I think it was, like, one of the first Saw movies. I was in the back getting freaky. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, want to play a game? I was like, I already am. <laughs> <laughs> I already am, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my this mom has been a to, great topic. You know, we're my gonna, mom used to drop me off at the movie, didn't know what was going down. Nah, I do remember them days though. The movies used to get wild. They used to get butt but wild. By the time enough. I was really getting wild in the movies for real, I was driving myself though. Uh-uh, yeah. I definitely wasn't driving myself. Okay, so because me and my boyfriend used to be going up to the top row and fucking. I'm dead in the movies. <sighs> Shit was fucking. Mm-hmm. Not in, in the like where the handicapped people supposed to park. No, bitch, we will be fucking in the movies, like, on the top row. You are a dirty bitch. Next to the popcorn, you sucking dick and Next shit. Next to the popcorn, bitch. We were in the movies inside of the theater. Why would it be a popcorn stand right there? Not a popcorn stand. I'm saying he ain't buy you no popcorn. The popcorn ain't standing I don't, next to I'm him. not a popcorn girl. Uh, the movie popcorn, good, bitch. I don't like, I, I'm not going to lie. When I go to the... I if you want really to take me to the movie, girl. just know you about to spend about $200. I used to be getting pretzels and shit. Nah. I want a hot dog, nachos, pretzels. You ain't uh, never fucked in the movies? No, I have a home. <laughs> when I was 16, I had a home too, but I couldn't go fuck at my mama's house. I definitely used to be fucking at my house. But my, my but I forgot you said your mama wasn't there. Yeah, she used See, to work See, my parents a lot. were at home. No, so definitely it not. wasn't no fucking at my house. She and it wasn't work. no fucking at my boyfriend's house because his mama used to be at home nah, too. my mama was working nine to five, <laughs> and I used to take that to my advantage. No, bitch, we used to definitely be fucking in the movies, but it was like quick. I used to wear a skirt. Oh, you're a sick bitch. Sit on his lap. It, just look, it looked normal. It didn't look weird. Yeah, I sit on my lap in the movies. <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying? It did. It looked normal. You got to catch the movies. You got to catch the late night movie, number one. So when you it started like 11 p.m. Like, and it'll only be like 30 people in there. And then you got to see a comedy so you can laugh and play it off. <laughs> <laughs> Like that, like that's how you used to ride this. If anything, you need to watch a horror movie so you can scream. I'm dead, bitch. I'm done with this. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P. And it's your girl Dre Nicole. Y'all, we want to tell y'all about a hard seltzer called Vizzy. Mm. Now, y'all know we like to pour Vizzy it up. Vizzy be having us dizzy. <laughs> y'all know we like to pour it up on the show and, you know, have a little drink every now and then. So, we want to tell y'all about Vizzy. It's a hard seltzer. It comes in so many flavors. And when I tell y'all, it's so good. It's so good. They have so many flavors. They have pineapple mango, black cherry lime, papaya passion fruit, whatever you want, they got it, okay? And with it being Pride Month, they also have a special pride packaging on the sales And month, we know so. you know you don't like labels, girl. I don't, but you know, <laughs> I fuck with the Vizzy. Yeah, so Vizzy has, actually the packaging it has no label on it to represent everybody out there who doesn't want to be labeled in their sexuality. To find out where you can purchase Vizzy's limited edition pride packaging, go to VizzyHardSeltzer.com backslash Poor Minds. That's VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash Poor Minds. Must be 21 and older now. We ain't doing no one that ain't drinking over here. Let me try to go to jail. <laughs> Wait, let's move on. <laughs> so today we're going to break down some lyrics for y'all. This is a request. Um, 
And now that I think, this is, used to be one of my favorite songs. Y'all know I'm very corny. I like to have sex to music. And this used to be one of the songs on my playlist. So it's so crazy. Like, as an adult, I'm going back and I'm reading these lyrics. And I'm like, I got them right here. And I'm like, why didn't you put them up on your iPad? Because the internet wasn't working. So uh, we're going to talk about trading places by Usher. I used to love this song too. This came out like my senior year of high school. Mm. I remember because me and my boyfriend used to be fucking to these two. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I want to talk about how Usher, you wrong for this. Usher was wrong for this. It, it, it's giving weird. It got a little, it got a little too, like he was trying to trade places too I fucking see, much. I just judge me. I'm judging you, Usher. Because it started off smooth. Now we're going to do this thing a little different tonight. So you like, okay, cool, what's up? You gonna come over and pick me up in your ride. Sounds what normal. What if she don't got a car? That's the first, but that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. You gonna knock, then you gonna wait. Ooh, you, you gonna, gonna take, take me, me on a date. date. No, I'm not. But all right, we gonna let that slide. Cause I don't you can take your nigga on a date I occasionally. I take my nigga on a date occasionally, but... Mm. Uh, that's when my eyebrow raised a little bit. Just a little bit, right? Okay. Go ahead, you can, because I can't. You going to pay for dinner, take me to see a movie. And we already know what Dre is doing movies. <clears throat> and whisper in my ear how bad you really want to do me. That's normal. Okay. Girl, now take me home and get up in my bed, pour me up a shot, and force me to the bed. So that's normal. That's like, okay, y'all trade in places. I'm going to take you on a date. Normal shit. You know, we we role playing now. Okay? But this is when things got a little disturbing. I'm always on the top. Tonight I'm on the bottom. <laughs> what you doing down there, Ursher? Ursher? Because when I'm on... You riding dick. I mean, he you riding to his dick. But no, but that's normal. We're trading places. We're trading places. So if we trade in places, bitch, I'm taking it like we trade in places. You trying to get pegged? I took it as you trying to get pegged. No, I didn't take it like I that. I did because when I you, feel like he was just saying because niggas I'm be, always on the top tonight. I'm on the bottom. Niggas be... No. In missionary, niggas be on no. top. No, I get what you're saying, but I took it as like a top bottom. Like the other terms. I'm always at the top. Tonight I'm the bottle. No, I didn't take yes. it like that. He, it's, he but was, I mean, he, he 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 was trying to like switch it up on y'all. Let y'all know like he was using his little words and you know how people like send secret message and lyrics. That's what he was doing. I'm usually a top tonight. I'm a bottom. And I see, we, see, that's what he meant. I can't wait till the usher hive come for you. <laughs> I'm just saying, like. That's what I took from They on your ass. They not on my ass. I just feel like he said, to, I'm, a, I'm a bottom tonight. He wanted to be a bottom. <gasps> mm-hmm. I have no words. What? I mean, because I, I felt like he just meant like, you know, she was going to be on top the whole night. Like, so, but you, dick. but you ride his dick on a normal night. All bitches don't do that. It's a special occasion. Girl, if you don't ride your nigga dick and you have to ride his dick on a special occasion... I got some news for you, hun. I mean, some girls do, though. Some bitches don't like riding dick. How, how often do we see on social media girls talking about how they hate riding dick? I mean, dick? I don't like riding dick, but I'm a ride dick. I'm not just going to ride dick on a special occasion. Usher said, I'm but always I'm on the saying, top. Tonight, I'm on the it, bottom. He meant he about to bend over and bust them cheeks open like you doing because we trade in places, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the fuck he said. Tonight, we trade in places, bitch. You want to trade places? Oh, you want to pay for dinner? Then I'm going to bust that thing open and tell her bring it back. And that's all right. That's my man, and I'm going to stick beside him. (laughs) (laughs) So, you going to... I mean, it is what it is. But, that's... Is that not how the song went? I'm just saying. Usher, you a wild boy. But I fuck with it. I fuck with the vision. I mean, if that's what he into, then that's what he into. I just don't know if that's what he into. 
So I mean, you we know, don't know what nobody into, but I feel like know. he could. But I mean, if he liked it, then you know, mm-hmm. it's like that. So shout out to and Usher. That's cool. We can trade places. I would peg Usher if he wanted. I would peg a nigga. Period. We talked about these though. Well, yeah, we did. So shout out to Usher. If y'all want to know, trading uh, places is basically. If you want to get pegged, trading places is a peg anthem. Basically, is what we're trying to say. So you niggas, before y'all be in the club, like yeah, we traded places. Just know what that nigga means. I ain't never yeah. seen niggas in the club. Niggas be like that. we traded places because they think they gonna get a <laughs> uh, a free date and get their little dinner paid for. But yeah, you also gotta bust that booty hole open. So yeah, if I'ma pay for your dinner, bust that pussy yeah. open and I'll tell her bring it back. Yeah, so if you want me to pick you up in my car, take you on a date, and do all this and do it, I'll do all that. But you need to bust that booty open. Bust that pussy yep. open. Because when y'all take me on a date, y'all be expecting the same thing, right? Do they not be expecting a little pussy after a little date? They do, but I mean, you don't always give it. Yeah, you don't so always. So that don't mean he gotta give you the pussy. Oh, you gonna give me that pussy? <laughs> We Girl, trading places. Boy, give me that boost. Period. So, shout out to Usher. <laughs> Bend it over. <laughs> and bring it back. <laughs> so, now we going to get into the bop. Hey. The bop. Hey. The bop. Mm. Okay, so, um, <laughs> my bop of the week is by an artist. Oh, my God. What? I just cannot. My bop of the week this week is by an artist named Elaine. She has a song called, um... That's my auntie name. That's my aunt name, too. For real? Yeah. Mm, we ain't gonna talk about my aunt. Well, I love my aunt, so shout out to my auntie Lane. Yeah, shout out That's to my yours. girl. That's my girl. I am dead. <laughs> uh, so this song is called Right Now. It's by Elaine, and I just like finding songs that are so relatable. This is a relatable ass song. Um, she was basically talking about every time she tries to um, get over a nigga, he comes back. Every time she makes progress in her life, he comes back and drags her back in. Like, basically, it's how we are right now, bro. Like, the chorus says, I'm in my bag right now. I can't be in tears right now. I can't afford to lose right now. Like, I'm focused on myself. I'm trying to better myself. So, mm-hmm. I need you to move around, my nigga. Like, every time you come back in my life, you're causing chaos. You're ruining my peace. You're ruining everything I have on. So, right now, I'm trying to get in my bag. And I'm trying to do what I'm doing. And, like, that really explains my life right now. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like everybody from my past... Just just keeps trying to like come back and hunt me and i'm good i'm fine 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 do you fine, be telling fine, him that i just don't respond anymore i'm yeah, on my no response you just gotta shit. like not respond i told you though i feel like we both need to change our numbers yeah, I'm I'm starting to get to that point where I'm about to change my number. But not only I've been that, having the same number, y'all, since I was like 15. Yeah, I've been having the same number since I was about 20. So I feel like it's crazy. I mean, I got another. I got two phones, so I got another number. But like one of my numbers, I've been having for a long time. Yeah, time. I just feel like right now I'm just trying to protect my peace and be. And this just really like resonated to my spirit. It was just like she was just talking that shit because I feel her. It's like men will come and disturb your peace if you continue to let them. And I've learned that I'm the type of person I try to be cool with everybody for some reason. So when somebody from my past comes back, I'll end up talking to them. And next thing you know, I'm sucking a dick. So <laughs> we'll see, and I think like I, if somebody hits me up that I used to fuck with, I'll respond to you and I'll be nice and shit like that. But like nine times out of ten, it's not gonna result in us fucking with each other right. again. I'm really just being nice and being cordial. Like you ask me how I'm doing, I'm doing fine. How are you? Right. Well, see, and that's about as far as it's it, gonna go. It doesn't work like that with me. Like I, you but, gotta learn how to establish boundaries. boundaries. But that's why I said my boundaries are just not responding to you, either blocking you or just not responding and leaving it at that. So yeah, my baba the week is Elaine right now um and also I made an alternative playlist um so I'm gonna drop that in the bio this week y'all don't ask me what a playlist at don't be in my DMs blowing me up it's in the description box it's an alternative playlist so if you like alternative music it's not R&B at all but it's like it's like in your feelings slow music if you like alternative music this playlist is fucking fire like I was in my bag on this one okay so I'm gonna put that in the bio so yeah all right so what's your bop sis oh my bop is little baby and little dirt Oh, it's that's a song a called Please. Mm. That's my bop. 
That's it. You don't got That's nothing all. to say about it? What am I supposed to say about it? It's, well, a, little, it's a little baby and it's a little dirt. Well, what more do I need to say? Well, what did you think about the album as a whole? Did you think it, like, it met the hype? Um, I, no, not really. Mm. I feel like it was cool. Like, I mean, but I feel like it's, like I said, it's it's a little baby and it's a little dirt. So, I mean, people gonna hype it up. And they just have so, their sounds make, are completely different to me. No, that's that's crazy because I don't think so. I think they sound very. I don't think they sound similar, but I mean, I think it works. That's why the album worked. You mm, know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't think that it was what people are making it out to be. I think mm. um, it could have been a little bit better. I mean, it was a few songs on there that I liked, but I definitely thought that I would probably like the whole album because I do like Lil Dark and everybody know I love Lil Baby. Mm -hmm. But it was only like a few songs that I really just fucked with, and that was one of the main ones. Ones. Um, I feel like if you've heard a little dark album and you heard a little baby album, I mean, you pretty really, much heard you this. pretty much heard this album. Okay. And I think sometimes that's why I think things should be a little bit different when you do a collab. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you gotta come with it. You gotta come with it because like Jay Z like, and Kanye will watch the throne. That was like right. We'll watch the throne and didn't they had that was a wasn't that the second? Didn't they have another collab album or no? I don't think so. No, no not that I remember. Oh, I'm thinking about... Well, you're thinking about Jay-Z and Beyonce's collab album, maybe. No, I think I was thinking about Otis. Just the song. Oh, that was on the... Because that wasn't on Watch the Throne, was it? Yeah. Oh. It was a single from the album. But wasn't it another song that they had that wasn't on Watch the Throne? Just the song they had together? I mean, they got a lot of songs together. Mm. I don't know. I'm thinking about a song specifically. But anyways, like, with Lil Baby and Lil Dark, I just feel like, um... It needed to be... It needed to have a little more... Like, they don't have that song. A little more... Uh, yeah, I don't know the word that I'm looking for, but it's just like, yeah, they don't just have that, like, that standout song. Mm -hmm. I feel like it sounds like stuff that we've already heard right. before. But, of course, y'all both hard, so, I mean, the album was... Good, decent. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll say this. I don't listen to rap that much, and I know I'm late as fuck when I'm talking about this, but that Moneybag Yo album, I finally listened to it. I like Moneybag Yo album. And I was like... Everybody was posting that Wakisha song, and I was like, I don't like listening to stuff that everybody listens to because I feel like it always be hype. Wakisha is a vibe. Yo, can't keep my mind off Wakisha. He, what he said? Uh, what's that part that everybody posts? Uh, wet like, like water, yeah, <laughs> sweet, sweet like, like fruit. fruit. So wet like water. Can I love on you? I said I know that right. I know that right. But I really wish that people would realize that he's talking about drink well, and yeah, not about yeah. a beach. Because... Yeah, oh, he said, tastes like candy, sweet oh, like yeah. food, wet like water, cannot love on you. I said, you sure can. But yeah, it's like, Wakisha, like, I seen somebody put on a caption, Wakisha. A Bitch, girl. you is not no drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I hope y'all know Wakisha is not a bitch. Yeah. But it's promethazine. Mm, you better know your drugs. But yeah, uh, I don't fuck with some hood niggas, you know. Yeah, I, know. I was late on that Money Bag Yo album, but I see why he's been getting like so booked lately, and he's been everywhere. Like he really did his thing on that album. No, it's a great album, but I feel like it's been a, like a long time coming. Money like Bag Y'all been working for a minute, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And I've always felt like he was hard and he had good music. Yeah, like, I, he always had, like, um, a song here and there that I liked, but, like, yeah, I finally I finally listened to it, and I was like, okay, it's good. It just take people, some people, a little, a little while minute. to take off, you know? Like, you know, when I drop my album, you know, y'all gonna be like, damn, she been doing this shit for a minute, you know, so. Um, Who gonna say that? You. I'm not. Nice. All right. So now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get into the For Your Heart Out segment. Y'all know this is my favorite segment. If you want your question answered on the show, y'all please email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. If you're a Patreon member, make sure you send the email to askpoorminds at gmail.com and put in the subject that you are a Patreon member so you can get your question answered on the show. That's askpoorminds at gmail.com. Okay, you want to read the first one? Hey ladies, I need some advice. I'm currently pregnant right now. This will be my first child. The guy I've been dating for a year now got me pregnant, but he has three kids already and said he doesn't want any more kids right now and he wants me to get an abortion. I really don't want to have an abortion, but ever since I told him I'm pregnant, I could feel distance and tension between us. Not sure what I should do. Are you you want me to answer first? I know what you're going to say, but I'm going to just say this. What do you think I'm going to say? I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? If a man don't want you to have his kid, don't have his kid. But I will say this. She's right. 
It, but it is your body. But at the same time, I want you to know, you pregnant and he, you feel the distance between him, it's going to get worse and you're going to be a single mother. Listen to me. You're going to be a single mother. You about to be doing this shit on your own. He don't let you know. He don't want nothing to do with you or that baby. So I'm just letting you know. You can have your child. Children are a blessing. But that man is not about to be there for you. So, and he already got three kids already. He done told you he don't want that baby. If you want to have that baby, have that baby for you and yourself. But don't think that this man is going to all of a sudden look at you different and want to be with you because he's not. Yes, and I don't know. I'm always an advocate for doing what you want with your body. Like, don't let nobody tell you what to do with your body. Agreed. But at the same time, yeah, if a nigga don't want a baby with you, I always think it's a terrible idea to have a kid with somebody who don't want the kid. Because, like Lex said, you're going to be on your own. So you have to ask yourself, are you ready for that financial responsibility? Because you're going to be doing everything by mm -hmm. yourself. You yep. know what I mean? Don't expect no help from him. Child. So, so good luck to your sis. Good luck, sis. Hey, ladies, keep this anonymous because y'all be drunk by this segment. <laughs> no, me because I'm over here sweating, bitch. She know the show. You a good listener. Okay. If you are all wondering, I'm 22, a young fashion designer student and a lit bitch. A few months ago, I was minding my business and met this man on my street and he randomly started speaking to me, which most people do because I find I have good energy. This man is way older than me and he was very sure about wanting to send me money since I am self-employed. I was only speaking to this man for 10 minutes, told him my Instagram and never saw him again. Please tell me why in the world he has recently been messaging me, asking me to send me my number so he could send me money. I told him I don't expect money from anyone off the street. <laughs> you don't well, watch. Well, that's your first problem. That's the first problem already, but anyway. However, he has insisted, so I, can, I just continue to send him my cash app and keep it real short because there's really nothing to speak on. Should I continue to allow this random person to send me money? I made it very clear I do not seek anything, want anything, and he continues sending money and claims he will ask for my hand in marriage. I have always attracted what I deserve, so all men in my life have given me nice things without having to ask. I'm in a relationship and I'm very happy, but if you're going to send money, I'm going to receive it. Am I wrong for that? No. No. Let me tell I mean, you something. Some people might feel like you are, though, because, I mean, some people feel like if you're in a relationship, you shouldn't be accepting things from but other people. But I feel people. like if she tells her man and she like, makes him aware of it, because we always said that cheating is when your spouse doesn't know what you're doing, no matter what it is. Right. So I feel like as long as you tell your spouse and you like be, like, open with him about it, I don't see the problem. And then also, you just gonna have to split it. And also, we just went to, uh, shout out to Weezy. We just went to Weezy's show uh, that prem uh, premi premiered on Fuse. Mm -hmm. So she has a show called Sex Sales. And one of the topics on the show was actually pay pigs. This man might be a pay pig. If you don't know what a pay pig is, it's somebody that gets off on literally giving you money. They don't want sex. They don't want to take you on dates. They don't want nothing. They just like... They like financial domination. Right. So he might be like a pay pig that he don't want nothing to do with you but just to give you money. Like, and there really are people like that. So, yeah, I mean, that might be his thing and that might be what he's interested in. Right, so you may just be, you may just have, you know, hit your luck and found you a little pay pig. But I do feel like, yeah, you need to be careful and tread lightly with the fact that you are in a relationship. You yeah, know I think I mean? you need to you tell your, lose your nigga. Yeah, I wouldn't lose my nigga. That. I think you need to tell your nigga what's going on and see how he feels. And if he, if he has a problem with it, um, I wouldn't do it out of respect. But that's why I said some niggas don't because you know what well, girl he just sound crazy Well, not only that but you have to realize some men are actually more understanding than what we give them You know like girls in the sex industry. They do be having boyfriends They do be understanding not saying that you're in the sex industry But what I'm saying is just have a conversation with your boyfriend He might just be understanding like you know what I'm saying like yeah, cuz he might need $50 That's what I'm saying. You just never know so I feel like have a conversation with your man <laughs> if he is cool with it as long as you're open and say, like, oh, he likes me, but I don't like him, babe. I'm just trying to, you know, it's money. And see what he says. If he don't like it, it's simple. Cut it off. Yeah. If he cool with it, continue. I would definitely let him know, though, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely let him know. Okay, next question. I'm 22 years old, and I've been fucking this 42-year-old man. Ooh. Let's just say we know each other from around the way. Each time around we Around the way? That sounds like day kill. <laughs> How y'all know each other from around the way? He 42, you 22. I mean, 
you know, maybe she be outside. Like, maybe she be seeing him at the club. And nope. she, when I when I was like 23, I was fucking with a nigga that was like 40. I mean, I was too, but we didn't know each other from around the way, girl. <laughs> Let's just say we know each other from around the way. Each time we fuck, it's the same old missionary position, and sometimes we go one round a night. He curls up in my pussy so quick, and when he nut, he just be so weak. Like, he just can't go anymore. <laughs> Last time we fucked, I asked him for another round. He said, what you think? I'm a robot? Sorry, I did their voice because they remind me of somebody. I know exactly what voice that we was. That's why I looked at you like, what? <laughs> we actually do the same routine all the time when we fuck. He play with my pussy and eat it. Then I suck his dick and we fucking missionary. Then he come. I really thought older guys would be more spontaneous and adventurous, no. but not this one. My question is, should I tell him about it and we talk about it or should I just keep fucking him? I really feel like I shouldn't have to tell a nigga that, that's this old what the fuck to do in bed unless I'm teaching him something. Look, old niggas be tired. They be tired. But I, okay. They don't be having no motherfucking energy a lot of the time. That's why they made the blue pill. But not only for them old ass well, niggas. Well, I feel like this. I just it's not that for every man. But I feel like for most of the part, men just never learn how to fuck because women don't say anything. I mean, men never learn how to fuck because women don't say anything. But I feel like once you reach a certain age, men don't have as much stamina anymore. Unless you're someone who is very active. Like if you're active and you work out. I'm all not the gonna time. lie, because Big Papa be busting my back down. Big Bitch. He probably, I mean, well, nah, he don't look like he work out. No, well, don't do that because what? he do work out. Don't do my man like that. He do work out, bitch. He do? He be doing them little ropes. <laughs> That's working out? Yeah, you have to pick up them ropes, they heavy. And he picked my big ass up, that's a workout. He be... He be doing the damn thing. He in his 40s, bitch. Don't do that. Not all 40 year olds just be I tired. Just, I said, I didn't say all. I said, unless you're active. You said that he gets active. He works out. He be pushing them ropes. Okay. Well, he's active. Okay. So, personally, the niggas that I done fucked with that was in their 40s, they was not that active. So, I mean, them niggas be tired. They be tired. They can only go one round. And that's just really what it be. Like, and I just feel like a lot of the time, too, with older men, a lot of shit has been going on, obviously, for years and centuries. Like, niggas been eating pussy and shit like that for a long time. Not what? centuries. <laughs> <laughs> Cleopatra was getting that thing. Hey. She was, though, <laughs> by all the pharaohs. <laughs> But, yeah, like, I just feel like shit wasn't talked about. Like, kind of what we talked about on the episode, we were talking about the DMX song. Like, niggas for a long time didn't really used to, like, niggas to admit. Was, this, niggas didn't start admitting they was eating pussy till Lil Wayne said And it. I feel like a lot of the time, men don't really just care about pleasing women because that's just what it's always been in the past. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I feel like if you want certain things and you want him to please you, you have to let him know what you like and what you dislike. You just laying there and going with the flow every time. I mean, he think you satisfied. He think you good and like you, so you gotta be more vocal because i feel like his main focus obviously from what you're saying to me is not pleasing you and not only that i mean you didn't say why you were fucking with this man like is this your boyfriend is this your sugar daddy is he a bdb, is he a BDB? like why do you keep fucking him if you're not enjoying it so if he if it's not beneficial to you in any way shape or form why are you still fucking him girl but yeah. if you want to continue fucking him, you need to open your mouth and say something. Yeah, be vocal. We say this all the time. Ladies, stop fucking these men if you're not having a orgasm. It serves you no purpose. Like, if you just fucking with a nigga for dick only and you're not even having an orgasm, tell him. And if he, you tell him and nothing change, get some new dick. Because we're not on that shit no more. All right. We ain't got time to waste. All right, last question. Hey, ladies, I'm 31, and I've been dealing with this guy that's 40 for almost two years. He's nice looking, makes really good money. He's a chef, owns his home and car, and he's super sweet, but I'm sick and tired of him. I want to add that I own my own home, car, and I make good money as well. He's so arrogant and cocky. He's always talking about himself. When we have regular conversation, he always brings up the subject. He always brings the subject back to him. Or he he will bring up his age and why he knows so much his favorite line is why can't you just agree with me and the kicker is he's a know-it-all it's getting to the point that i just get irritated when he even opens his mouth he already knows i don't like these these things about him because i expressed it at one point i wanted to come 
to a happy medium, but I don't think he can help it. I think he wants me to stroke his ego and wants to be in control all the time, but I'm not with it. I want to end things with him, but I don't know how. He tells me all the time how much he loves me, and I just don't feel anything. I think I'm going to break his heart when I tell him this, but can you blame me? How can I end this entanglement? Leave. I don't know why. Let me tell y'all something. It's okay to be selfish sometimes. As long as I'm open with you with the communication and I tell you, hey, this is how I feel and this is what I want and I'm moving on. You broke his heart, but that's on him to heal and take the steps to heal. As long as you was real and tell him how you feel, because all you're doing is making it worse by keeping it going on because you're scared to hurt his feelings. So be open and let the shit go. When y'all prolong things, y'all making the situation worse. That doesn't help. Yeah. I just feel like if you're not happy, you have to end things. You know what I mean? You can't be concerned about how the other person going to feel sometimes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that does sound... It can come off a little bit selfish, but honestly, you have to look out for you first. Right. So it's like if you're not happy and you're no longer in, in emotionally invested into this situation, then you got to let that shit go. I mean, he going to be all right. Trust me, that nigga going to be all right. He going to find him another bitch eventually. Everybody does. Everybody does. I mean, that's life. It goes you're on. Not you're going to find... Find, yeah, you're gonna find somebody else. He's gonna find somebody else, bitch. No matter how devastated you think he gonna be, he gonna be all he right. He gonna be all right. Like you're not the girl for him, and he's not the man for you. And just like you're feeling, he probably feels that shit too. So even though he's telling you that he loves you, that disconnect that you feel, he definitely feels that too. So don't waste any more of your time. Girl. It probably just yeah, it's just ran its course. Mm -hmm. Do what you gotta do, girl. Yeah. You know so what to make do. sure y'all email us. I'm a little lit. <gasps> Make sure y'all email us at A-S-K-P-O-U-R-M-I-N-D-S -S at mm. gmail.com. If you have any questions, go ahead, send them in. We're going to give y'all the best advice that we possibly can. Amen. And um, if you aren't a Patreon member, make sure you join our Patreon. We post bonus content weekly because a lot of y'all be like, oh, we need two episodes for week. Now, I got a clock right there. I done pushed it 15 minutes now. Well, I went over the clock for y'all today because somebody was complaining that our shows was too short. I think people complain often that our <laughs> shows are too short because they be used to listening to shows. They be like three hours. Yeah. Make mom be tired. But let me tell you something right now. <laughs> it ain't gonna never happen. <laughs> Ever. Okay, so we about to close the show out. You ready? Mm-hmm. No. <sighs> You gonna sing my background? I already see it. So why don't you just chill, bro? You just never let me I just hit you. I already see it. So why don't you ever? So just, why are you still covering? Because it? you just because you never let me hit you with the element of surprise. I don't like being surprised, and you I snap. think you know that. Snap! Come on, you gotta snap. You know we snap every week. We need mm. like a new tempo because no, we don't. this don't go with everything. Yes, it do. Don't I kill that shit every week though? Period. Nah, nah. I just can't. I just can't believe it's what it is. Speed I it got up. this feeling <laughs> and I just can't turn it loose. Mm. That somebody has been getting next to you. Uh, I don't want to walk around knowing I was your fool. Because me, no man that I am, I just can't lose my cool. My friends keep telling me about the things that's going on. But deep in my heart, baby, I hope they're wrong. I hope they're wrong, but I know it, babe. Hit it, Drew. Somebody sleeping in my, my bed. bed. My bed, my bed. Somebody's taking my place, place. baby. Uh, Somebody's leaving in my bed. You better sing, girl. <laughs> Tell me why, oh why, oh what, why, oh why, oh what, why, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why, I said just sleeping in my bed, messing with my. Oh, hits that stick like fucking grit. That was about. You know what I'm saying? And then they made the remix. I couldn't. Oh, wait. I got this feeling. I just I can't, can't turn, turn it loose. Oh. That somebody is getting next to you. 
can't walk around like I was your fool. <laughs> Cause being who I am, I can't lose. <laughs> bro, come on, you gotta get a little more swag now. Come on, bro. You hit that. Dre know the words in every lyrics. It be the voice. Cause being who I am. Come on, bro. I'm gonna put my voice on next week. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Drew Hill. Hits that stick like grits. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> That's, the That's voice my song. Me. <laughs> Not the remix. The remix was the one. It was the one. That's what you should have sung. I thought that what you was going to sing.